Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this beautiful day. Really is rather nice, actually. Um, so, uh, they do say we're going to get snow tomorrow. And, um, and maybe a nice day on Sunday, we will see the... I'm not 100% sure about Sunday yet. On that, but um, the news is that our esteemed mayor has decided that the town is much too dangerous for everybody, and we're now going to be travelling Green Man Um right, where was I? Yes, so our esteemed mayor has decided that um it's much too dangerous the town. So, the speed limit is being reduced to 30 kilometers an hour in the whole of the town. And that's the maximum speed uh, for the whole of the town uh, from the beginning of February, I think it is. Just whiz in front of that car there. Uh, from the beginning of February might be the end of February. I know it's sometime in February. I need to double check the exact date in February. Um, <clears throat> he has posted some notices around, which is rather nice of him. And um, He's also decided that we are way too our, our children are, are totally stupid and need overprotecting. <clears throat> so, all the roads around the schools are going to be blocked. Which is uh, a really intelligent idea, I think. When does protecting children become overprotection and they don't understand danger anymore? I think he's missing the point. Yes, I can understand we need to protect children, but we also need to teach them. They need to be able to learn. And he's taking away virtually all of the learning opportunities that there are. So basically, the children are going to be overprotected. They think everything is going to be safe and nice for them and at some point they're going to walk out into the middle of the road and get killed um, I'm sorry but uh, overprotection I think here you need to you need to think about education rather than overprotection I mean when I was uh, young, which is a, an extremely long time ago, I, uh, I was taught to stop at the curb and look both ways for traffic before crossing and to continue to look both ways while crossing the road. I don't see children being taught that today, you know, parents just seem to sort of drag them across the road. Um, the traffic will stop for you. I think that's uh, the wrong thing. I mean, the other thing as well is um, I had to take a cycling proficiency test before I was allowed to cycle to school. and. That type of thing and use a cycle 
in the school areas and so on, um, which meant that I had to learn some of the rules of the road and that type of thing. I wonder where he's going. So, I think it's a case of education as well as protection, but um, our esteemed mayor seems to think that um, wrapping everybody up in cotton wool so they don't understand the danger at all of anything is the best way of doing it. I'm sorry, if you wrap people in cotton wool, when they come out of the cotton wool, they're going to break. It doesn't matter what it is, if you... That's when things are likely to break. When you remove the items from the protection. So... I think um, it's actually not a very good idea. In fact, I think it's a very stupid idea, but uh, who am I to say? I think uh, there should be compulsory lessons for road safety from everybody. I really do. I think uh, there should be lots of road safety, but no, we're not allowed to teach road safety. We've got to teach children or wrap them up in cotton wool so that when they come out of the cotton wool they get broken. Stupid idea. I really do think um, this woke culture has gone way, way too far. And I noticed that uh, that uh, we have a new president in the USA. And he seems to be propagating of this stupidity. I think uh, there is a limit. Um, there is. Never mind. Mm. So, yes, so we're, we're going to be restricted to 30 kilometers an hour here, which as you can see is very safe to do 50. In fact, you could probably do 70 here, quite easily, safely. But it's not a case of um, that, it's a case of... Uh, everything has to be wrapped in cotton wool. And people no longer learn the dangers of things. A, a red camera light radar thing here. Someone has to be careful. Yes, never mind. That's uh, that's my rant for today. And uh, I did actually have something else I was going to chat about, but I totally forgot what it was. I'm getting a bit old, obviously. Oh yes, I haven't travelled this route for a long time. I sometimes come back along that route there. Um, but actually going out to the... Uh, 
the Catravan Sea, so I haven't been using this route because of the stupidity of the bus lanes, as you can see, starting here. Um, I'm not actually on the Catravan Seas today. Um, actually going to Castorama, which is actually um, the same as B&Q in the UK. It's exactly, they're owned by the same people. Now this is what you call stupid. It really is stupid. It is. Total stupidity. I mean, you know, come on. Anyhow, Castorama is owned by the same people who own B&Q and when you go into the shop it's laid out exactly the same way as B&Q so if you knew where something is in B&Q you can walk straight to it in Castorama. Anyhow, as you can see it says turn right at the next light so that's what I'm going to do so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time oh, we have a clever person in front have we very intelligent yes so yes we'll see you next time